Hi friends this is the fourth part of inline or live add edit delete of MySQL data by using Angular JavaScript with PHP and in this part we will discuss how to delete or remove data by using Angular JavaScript with PHP MySQL. In previous part we have already learned how to edit or update inline table data by using Angular JavaScript with PHP, so for delete data we have already make delete button in display template HTML code. For this we have go to index page and here we have write dollar scope dot delete data is equal to function with ID argument. This function will delete data from MySQL table. Under this function we have write if statement and under condition we have write confirm statement with message like are you sure you want to remove it. This code will pop up with OK and cancel button. If we have click on OK button then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write dollar HTTP request with method option set to post and URL option set to delete dot PHP. In third option we have write data and under this we have write ID data value get from ID argument. Lastly we have write success callback function, this function will be execute if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Under this function we have write dollar scope dot success is equal to true, this code will display success alert message on web page. Now we want to display success message text. So we have write dollar scope dot success message is equal to data dot message. This code will display success message with text on web page. Lastly, we want to display update sample table data on web page in table. So we have write dollar scope fetch data function. After this we have go to display template HTML code and here in delete button we have write ng click directive is equal to delete data function and in argument we have write data dot id, so when we have click on particular row delete button then it will call this delete data function. Now we have moved to write PHP code under delete dot PHP. And here we have write include statement with database connection dot php, it will make database connection on this page. For receive data from Angular JavaScript function we have write dollar form data variable is equal to json decode function and under this function we have write file get contents function and under this function we have write php input stream. Here this file get contents function has been fetch form data from this PHP input stream in JSON string format and by using JSON decode function it will convert into PHP array object. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to delete from sample table where ID is equal to dollar form data with ID object. This is simple delete data query. After this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable. It will make query for execution. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. If data successfully deleted then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to data deleted. So here we have store success message under this dollar message variable. 
Now we want to send this data to Angular JavaScript function, so we have write echo statement with JSON and code function with dollar $output variable. This function will convert array to JSON string and send to Angular JavaScript function. So friends first we have refresh page and after this we have can see sample table data on web page with edit and delete button. Now we want to delete or remove particular row data. So we have click on this row delete button. After click on this we can see pop up message with OK and cancel button. So we have click on cancel button then no action has been performed. Now we have again click on delete button we have again received pop message and now we have click on OK button. After click on OK button we have received data success message on web page and we can see remaining data on web page in table format. So, this way we can delete or remove MYSQL table records by using Angular JavaScript with PHP. So in this series we have discussed how to can we have inline or live insert update delete MYSQL table data by using Angular JavaScript with PHP. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.